great to learn something new and exciting. So we'd like to present something fun and inviting with rhymes running wild and out on the loose. Of course, they are written by who? Take a few stories and cook up a stew. Which Dr. Seuss story would you like to do? If I ran the zoo. Oh, still so How about Horton, who heard a small who? Horton hears a who is a great idea. On the 11th of May, in the jungle of Noor, in the heat of the day, in the cool of the pool, he was splashing. Enjoying the jungle's great joys when Horton and the elephant heard a small noise. Help! Help! So Horton starts splashing. He looked toward the sound. That's funny, thought Horton. There's no one around. Then he heard it again, just a very faint yelp, as if some tiny person were calling for help. Help! Help! I'll help you, said Horton. But who are you and where? He looked and he looked, but he saw nothing there but a small speck of dust flowing fast through the air. I say how confusing I never could tell of a small speck of dust that is able to yell. So you know what I think, why I think that there must be someone on top of that small speck of dust. Some poor little person who is shaking with fear that he'll blow in the pool. He has no way to steer. He's alone in the universe. And Horton the elephant said, his great truck in the air and he lifted the dust back and carried it over and placed it down safe on a very soft clover. Thank you! I won't let you down, no I won't let you fall.
What have we learned so far from Dr. Seuss? A person is a person no matter how small. Anything's possible. I hate green eggs and ham. <laughs> How did you learn that? We haven't even had green eggs and ham. Let's have them now! Yeah! Thank you. 